there is a very good chance that Jesus taught at the site that we're visiting today. Stay tuned. Shalom and welcome to this teaching channel. It is a delight to greet you today. I'm Dr. John and uh, it's a pleasure to have you uh, with us as we continue to explore the Bible and individual sites, of course, uh, within this land called Israel. Here's my topography map. And as you see, uh, this is uh, the layout of the land and we're visiting a site actually right at the very northern edge of in a little east of the Sea of Galilee. So that's where we're heading today. Uh, we're going to visit a city called Gamla. It means camel. And of course, the size and the definitions of the site almost look like a camel hump. It was a site that was a part of the first revolt against the Romans in 66 AD, but a very thoroughly Jewish site. Now, while this site's not mentioned in the Bible specifically, I think there's a very good chance that Jesus taught in the synagogue that we're going to visit today. Really, the, the, the video is quite simplistic and straightforward. We're simply going to walk up into this first century synagogue. We'll notice how uh, simple it is, really, and, and size-wise, uh, quite small, relatively speaking. But uh, that's what we're going to do today, so uh, we're glad that you are with us. Once again, if you want to subscribe uh, to our channel, uh, you can do that and as well as hit the red bell uh, that would notify you of any other uh, videos that we will be producing. And of course, we're going to be producing uh, many others as it relates to the Bible. So with that as an introduction, let's go to Gamla together. In this video, we simply walk into the first century synagogue at Gamla. So let's walk together into this amazing structure. This is the city of Gamla. It was a first century city back in the days of Jesus. Archaeologists have found seven synagogues that date to the time of the first century and here at Gamla we actually find one so let's go up into this first century synagogue the synagogue was 65 feet by 53 feet made of basaltic stone. But the shape and form of the synagogue is quite common during the days of Jesus. Even though we don't have a reference directly to Gamla in the Bible, we can assume that Jesus must have taught from this synagogue. Even though Gamala was located on the east side of the Sea of Galilee, this was a prominent Jewish city that Jesus must have visited during the course of his life and his ministry here in the Galilee. People used to sit around this synagogue on these benches and you could almost picture as Matthew chapter 9 says Jesus taught in many of the synagogues 
we can picture Jesus teaching here. When Jesus taught here in the synagogue at Gamla, his audience must have been primarily zealots. And as we read in the Gospels, Jesus actually called a zealot to be one of his 12 disciples. But Jesus' message was about a spiritual kingdom and not a kingdom that would rise against the Romans, but a spiritual kingdom of light that would penetrate the hearts of those who would receive the reign and rule of God in their lives. So can you picture Jesus teaching here in this synagogue? I think I can. I know there's some scholars who don't think that he would have ventured this far east of the Sea of Galilee because generally speaking, the eastern area was a part of the Decapolis and that meant Gentile areas. And of course, Jews didn't mingle nor did they visit Gentile cities. However, Gamla was a very thoroughly Jewish city, and in this synagogue, as we read in Matthew 9 and elsewhere, uh, Jesus taught in many of these synagogues. And personally, I can uh, see him uh, standing there right in the middle and teaching and explaining and commenting on, of course, the scriptures that he uh, read right there. I think it's pretty exciting to know that most likely Jesus was there in that synagogue at Gamla. And of course, he taught about the kingdom. And that's uh, the message for us today. I think for Jesus, it was his go-to message about the kingdom coming near. And certainly people were wondering if he was the Messiah, uh, where in the world was this kingdom? And of course, if you remember from uh, Luke 17, and when someone asked him that, he said, it's neither there or here, it's within you. So Jesus was teaching most likely in this synagogue about the kingdom of God and the reign and rule of God in people's lives. So that's our teaching today. Uh, a shorter teaching, but uh, certainly a wonderful place to visit and retrace uh, the footsteps of Jesus. So until next time, shalom, and I hope you join us again.